Another potential setback for those wanting more affordable housing options here in Austin. The city says it has no plans to appeal after a court ruling effectively shot down a years long effort to revamp the city's land development code. That's important because the last time the city addressed land development was in the 1980s and now the White House plans to offer up money to cities that revamp their zoning regulations. As KXAN's Daniel Marine found out today, the goal is to create more affordable options. We wanted a home with a yard for the kids and, you know, dogs. Jeff Strange really likes his part of East Austin. Lots of trees and, you know, single family homes and lots of kids. And the city is full of these types of neighborhoods, as evidenced on this map. All the yellow you see is zoned single family. That's nearly all of Austin. My top priority is... The Biden administration is now offering incentives, including grants opportunities, to cities that revamp their zoning rules to make way for different and often denser types of housing options. That would increase supply and ideally drive down prices. We've been working on that for many years and, and now it's stopped dead in its tracks. Scott Turner is the president of the Home Builders Association of Greater Austin. While he's disappointed the city's attempts to overhaul the land development code have stalled, he says he also understands why many longtime homeowners are resistant to change. Wherever you grew up, of course you'd want to see that, that neighborhood stay the same, right? But cities change, and certainly Austin has changed a lot. Back on the east side, it's strange says if his house were one day sandwiched in between apartments or condos, he would learn to live with it. Yeah, it would be, uh, it would be hard to swallow, but, you know, you also have to be accepting the, the, or the city growth as well. So, you, you know, there's a fine line there, too, you know. That was Daniel Marine reporting. The city's housing and planning department says while there is no action anticipated when it comes to the land development code case, the city continues to review the recent ruling. There is an ongoing effort to collect zoning data from every city in the nation. KXAN spoke with Sarah Bronin. She's a UT Austin grad who now researches housing policy as a professor at Cornell Law School. Bronin is spearheading the project known as the National Zoning Atlas. We could establish how everybody zones now, and then we could identify the things that, that communities need to do to make their communities more open and welcoming and more affordable and more sustainable. We also looked up the cities with the most affordable housing options, and right now Forbes Advisor says Youngstown, Toledo, Akron, and Cleveland, Ohio are high on the affordability list. Scranton, Pennsylvania takes the fifth spot with cities like Syracuse, Pittsburgh, and Detroit, Michigan following. These rankings were calculated using the median down payment per capita personal income and median property taxes. 